I love Why are you looking at your, my shirt? You're only as cool as you treat people. Good life quote. It looks like I have a stain, but I literally just took it out of the wash and have never worn it. What the? She's lying. What the? What the? That's what Louis says. That's what he's I like. I do not know. Oh, that's his new thing. I do not know. But so he doesn't could, say it like that. He's not a. It's like, not that firm, but it's like firm. It's like, I, I do, do not, not know. know. Whenever he doesn't yeah. know something, it was just, it's really cute. It's a cute way of saying it. And I don't know where he got it from. Anyway, it's been a minute and we have a good excuse why it's been a minute. Okay, but we have a lot of excuses. I feel like YouTube, at least for me, has like kind of gone downhill and I don't see as many faces like Colleen Ballinger. I'm sure everyone has a different opinion on her, but like she used to be someone that I watched every single day. I would look forward to her videos. She had a big fallout recently, right? But it wasn't, it was like a year ago now, oh. maybe six months, but yeah. Sad day, now I open my YouTube and there's like Mr. Beast and bug videos. I'm like- Yeah, YouTube has been beastified and we are not Mr. Beast, very clearly. Uh, well, and that's what Louis is interested in every night. Oh yeah, he loves Mr. Beast, he's Mr. obsessed. Beast. On to all of our excuses why we haven't uploaded in a long time. First excuse, we've been really busy as per usual, but this freaking house is falling apart. I cannot describe, I hate to say it like that. Look at it, it's a beautiful looking house. Gorgeous, you walk in you're like, wow, stunning house. It's weird how like much I've gotten used to it though over the time that yeah, we've been here. That is weird because- Isn't it, like I remember when we were walking through the model, we were just, like amazed at how beautiful everything was and now yeah. we're like just used to it. Now it's just yeah. our house. That is weird. That's perspective when you that. think about it like that because I wish we could live here like seeing it for the first time yeah. every day. Like I guarantee you, there's somebody watching this video, you're probably in a big McMansion where I would look at it and I'd be like, whoa, that is huge. Like, and you're just, that's your everyday reality. Yeah. Yeah. And you just kind of take it for granted after a while. We all do and it's kind of a just a human fault? I. This is how we are, right, as humans? Weird, this video just got way deep. Yeah, boom, how about that? So, I guess we'll talk about what's been falling apart, other than everything, but we'll talk about that in a second. I just saw this, gotta talk about it. This brings back total nostalgia. I got the Fleet Farm one growing up, but it just, look at this. I'm just opening a random page. He's got the whole page, almost everything on it, circled. Louis's been going through it, and then he loves to ask his sister Lucy what she wants. He'll be like, hey, do you want this, Lucy? And he'll circle it, and then, at any rate, the whole entire book, every single page, everything is circled. It's cute. So, I, I don't know. I just love that kind of stuff. Brings back nostalgia. What? I said adorable. Yeah, it really is. Where do we start? Do we start with... Should we start with what's falling apart and like making our life pretty miserable right now? Yes, let's start with that. Sorry, I think I had you off camera. Let's start with what she just said. What's falling apart and making our life miserable other than... High speed. The fact that Nelnet is a very, very awful company. I had my loans paid off and then they suddenly decided to add $15,000 to my debt and basically I had to get lawyers involved and suddenly the $15,000 was gone again. Okay, so we're upstairs, Whew, gotta catch my breath. This is Lucy's room, it's a mess, and you'll see why. Look at this. The floor is all torn up, the wall is torn out. Are you kidding me? I forgot to check to see if anything changed since it the It did, last it night. did. Oh, I, I took a picture this morning because it was wet here. <gasps> so, are you serious right now? I'm dead serious. So, long story short, I haven't checked it again today, but it was wet in the morning and I wasn't sure if it was still drying up from the last time. No. But we've been getting water in our house. Contacted the builder and, you know, they gave me the run around how we leave our window open and all of this. I'm like, no, we're not leaving our window open, especially during a rainstorm. And anyway, they sent people out who determined there's a leak somewhere, but they can't find it. And now every time it rains, our upstairs is getting water flooding it enough to literally like the soak carpet, into the trim. Yeah, the carpet, the trim first of all got ruined and then the carpet was wet from here to here. Like a, a very substantial It's a big spot. area. Like it, Basically it's, the, the length of the window. Yes. So that's our first excuse. Gosh darn it. So now we have to start from square one. Our second excuse, if you're ever gonna build a house, I, I would not recommend the builder we use. You can ping us and we'll let you know. Um, look at the driveway. You see that black line going through it? That's where they didn't want to redo our driveway because they promised they would, 
But they decided, no, 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 now it's been long enough, we can go back on that promise. It was a year ago, right? Yeah, and so they just patched it where it had like a dip in it from when they poured the driveway. I can't even. Ugh. Anyway, we're, we're complaining too much. I want these videos to be happy and all that. So anyway, should we just start talking about... Yeah, let's go sit down. Some, um, I posted on Instagram to see if anyone had any questions for us and some people did. Okay, so we're gonna do a well, Q and A. It's a very, very short Q and A. Short Q and A. Like five questions. All right, short Q and A, and then we're gonna talk about surrogacy. I'm gonna sit right there. That's my good side. You're what? I'm gonna sit right there. That's my good side. Oh Jesus! Every side's good on you. No, 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 no. It's not. It's actually not. All right. So what do we got for Q and A? Okay, let me pull up the the, que the quiz, the cues. That didn't sound cool. Cut that out, editor, um, that we don't have. How did you know that you were really done growing your family? What made you so sure? How did we know we were done? Uh, so here's the deal, I'm not sure. I said after two, I was like, I am done. I, I think that's a perfect size family. Honestly, I wouldn't mind another one. I would not mind a third. Why are you making that face? Well, because it would have to happen soon and we like- That's my only problem. I'm too old. I'm 34 now and you know- Well, and I don't just don't want a huge age gap between the kids. Yeah, that- Louie and Lucy are so close and like get along so well. But if we were to have a third, like it would be a huge gap and they would just be left behind. And then Lucy would become a middle child, which I also don't want. There's a lot of reasons. Oh, Lord. Um, but mostly and mainly like my reasoning for knowing that I am done is kids are exhausting physically, mentally, emotionally. Every single bit of me is very, very tired. Like I feel like I'm going to look back at this time and it's just going to be black, like a whole blackout period in my life because <laughs> it's, it's so difficult. Yeah. I'm not one to drink alcohol, but like I've like there have been nights where I'm like, I just need a drink because I am so- But you don't do that, let's be clear. Like you're not like- No, no, it'll be like once a year that I like pour myself a drink. But like I, I just yeah. get to the point where it's just so exhausted and I just can't do it anymore. So that's how I know I'm done. I'm just very, very content. I'm very grateful that we have two kids and I have a boy and a girl. I think if maybe yeah. we had two of the same gender, I would be more- um, or less opposed to having more kids. I think that's a girl thing. I feel like more women want like one of each. You just whereas want to guys would just be both. like, yeah, let's just have some. No, I don't but know. if we Maybe had two girls, if we had two girls, you would for sure push for a boy. I know it. I don't know. I think you would. And I, I think know. most most males seem Yeah, to I guess. Happy. Okay. I retract my statement. All right, next question. Okay, but yeah. And the reason I think she asks this is, um, and maybe not, but like surrogacy, you want to be sure that you're done having kids because you can lose certain reproductive organs and you could potentially sure. mess up your chances for having more kids. You're sure. sure. Yeah. So, um, are you wanting to have another baby? No, we're not. How is your gestational carrier journey going? How is our gest... I can't even surrogacy. say the word. What? <laughs> surrogacy. That's uh, is another word for surrogacy. How's, so how's it going? going? Should I just give it up? Should we, should we save that? Let's save that Let's one. save that for later. Table that one. That we'll table that one. Okay. Um, what's harder, going from zero to one kids or one to two kids? <laughs> Depends on how hard your first one was. Yes. Our first one was very difficult, so yeah. I would say that was harder. But if you have an easy first kid. Like, imagine if we had Lucy first. Yeah, it would have been a lot. Home. Oh, it would have been. Here's the problem. It would have been really easy and then... Like quadruple hard all at once. So that would have been even more difficult. So yeah, I, I'm glad it happened in the order it did. Cause That's otherwise- so funny oh. that almost four years later, we still remember how hard yeah. he was as a baby. And we love him to death. We He's do. He's the best. He's literally the best He's human. He's so kind. He's everything. Every, okay. So he has a lot of, uh, firstborn traits so like he's kind he's thoughtful he's really caring like he's loving he will take time to like snuggle each of us like yeah. he gives lucy hugs and lucy's just like a go-getter she very you get, independent get out of her way because she is coming through very yeah. second born but yeah man that 
that period of time in our life with, with Louis being a newborn and he was colicky from zero to six months and it's like zero to like two years <laughs> basically had to be like rocked and just a lot of extra He's very extra and to this day he's still very extra about like his needs and everything he's just he's not as ex- bad as he's not as bad as he was but he's just a, 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 like that kind of personality i don't know how to describe it anyway next question when <laughs> when is baby three coming uh, we already answered it okay well with the circus who knows right we're going to talk about that one in a minute but that yeah that was echo that was <laughs> echo you better be having a baby soon <laughs> Do you think you'll have another baby or are you set on two? That's similar. How are you guys doing? Miss you. Oh, we miss you too, Bonnie. How are we doing? I don't know. We just described the chaos that's going in our life. Bonnie, you saw the room? My goodness. There's a lot going on. Yeah. And we're entering the season in Minnesota where basically everyone hibernates for six months. So we just closed our cabin. We stored our boat. We're getting yeah. the yard ready for snow on Saturday. Don't y'all feel bad for us? All the work we've been doing, we had to put our boat away. We had to do our cabin. Gosh, sucks to our, This house is a problem. No, but- I, I, wanna, I wanna be very clear. We're not complaining. Our lives are awesome. We have very good lives. So please don't take this as us being like, oh, poor us. I'm just trying to say that out loud. Yeah. Hope nobody takes it that way. It's did just you know, problems. Did you miss what I said? Did you know snow is coming on Saturday? I missed that fact, but that is, so we're going from like 60s, pretty even Steven, to about 30s. The snow Let's move on. is coming. The winter is coming. Winter's coming. Why is Bernie the best dog in the whole wide world? Bernie? Uh, next question. <laughs> my brother and my other brother's girlfriend and everybody else is answering these questions and doing personal jokes. Next question. What was the next what question from a real- What are plans for Christmas this year? Um, I don't know. Just hanging around probably. We usually all like not alternate, but we'll Christmas Eve at your parents' house because yeah. they're pretty like adamant about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll like at some point when I have my siblings at my mom's, we'll exchange Christmas there. gifts there. And then Christmas Day, I love to, I feel like we've started a tradition. Like what? just stay at home, us. Yeah, we just chill. We you just know? chill. We wear our little sleepies matching PJs all day long spend like 180 dollars if anybody knows little year. sleepies has an inside connection hit us up lsvip for 15 percent oh off. lord <laughs> it, that's not sponsored cut that out no it's not but we love little sleepies and i feel like it just makes it special like we take our picture the kids open their presents the the trouble with christmas is we have lucy's birthday well first of all we have her her mom and her brother's birthday same day yeah a week later we have lucy's birthday basically a week later we have christmas basically a week later we have louis's birthday basically a week later we have my dad's birthday and basically a week later we have her grandma's birthday all of that in that time frame literally like he's not even exaggerating. It, literally like that so that time of year is always fun celebrating all those things but also very stressful because you're like all right now on to the next you're like constantly like you know planning the next deal that you have right well and buying like it just gets so expensive around that yeah is that all the questions yeah that's it that's (laughs) all the questions because nobody watches our channel anymore (laughs) so because we're not pregnant everyone was here for pregnancy i'm gonna title one of our videos we're pregnant and then everybody's gonna watch again okay but i also don't want to be known as a channel that like oh we're just gonna get pregnant to get views because that yeah, is, we're not doing that that is ridiculous i don't know how many creators i've seen i definitely get the vibe that like okay well our channel is like kind of slowed down so let's have another kid yeah yeah there's definitely channels that do that uh, clearly i think we're not one of them that's why our views and our rates <laughs> <Yeah>. are slowly <laughs> uh, hey we did hit over almost twenty one thousand subscribers which that's nothing in terms of youtube channels like the big ones or whatever Mr. but Beach. hey i'm proud of it think of it like this if we went to a Minnesota Wild game and it was completely full, we would still have more people that have clicked the subscribe button on our channel. So I'm happy. So thank you for doing that. And Minnesota Wild is a hockey game. Yeah, a anyway. hockey team. Anyway, on to surrogacy, right? Everybody, they're here for surrogacy. That's all they care know, about. They probably skip forward to that's this That's like part. our next, I feel like that's our next thing. Yeah. And, and we're not doing this for the views, promise. Yeah. But just bringing you along on our journey with surrogacy. Okay. So someone's question was, how is it going with the gestational carrier kind of stuff or process? Yeah. I'm curious what your point of view, you probably don't even know where I'm at. Well, yeah, that's the thing is 
I have been dealing with all these problems, like the driveway, yeah, my say, student yeah, loans, right. all this stuff that's been going on in the background. I've been completely swamped. Yeah, I have no idea. Where are we at? <laughs> okay, Where are we at? <laughs> an update for everyone. Yeah, okay. Including me. <laughs> so basically, I have completed my medical screenings. And by the way, I'll mention, just because I don't think we've ever mentioned it before, but we're working with a place called Conceivabilities. And um, they actually gave me, they found us, gave me a referral code. So if you're interested, you could get some benefits out of this. We could get some benefits out of this, but we'll leave, uh, we'll leave our referral, referral code, code down below. In the Got my sock in my hand. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but anyway, conceivabilities, we are currently, I am currently in the waiting stage. I would love to, pause on that note, I would love to know how they found our channel. I would love to know that. Are one of you trying to... But how would anybody know... No, okay, Our so legal here's names a and associate it to that. Because her legal name is not Sasha. My legal name is not Max, just so you know. And, uh, I'm so confused. I think people just watch probably like they have probably like a, a social media group and they probably like reach out to. You think somebody at Conceivabilities just has a job to go through YouTube videos searching for surrogate type videos? What a job! I mean, if that's Can the I? case, if anybody knows, let us know because I'm I'm just dying to like I want to know, just pure curiosity. So, what do you think happened? I have no idea. I literally have no idea. <laughs> right? Okay. Because you'd have to know your legal name, which is Alexandra. A spoiler alert. Yeah. Well, it's it's actually in the referral link, Alexandra. I think six or nine. But anyway, it's yeah. That's. Definitely weird because you can you like how do you associate Sasha to Alexandra? So here's yeah. our little theory. We think <laughs> we think that someone watching our channel, um, but this sounds weird. I'm not even gonna say it. No, it, it definitely isn't that. If 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 okay, if one of y'all spilled the beans, we're totally cool with it. I just want to know. I literally I'm just so curious. L nothing wrong with it. But I'm just curious. Like how they found us and, and, and knew that we were working with conceivabilities already and like connected the dots. Yeah, the exact, that's where I'm like, how did somebody do that? If you are, you should be a detective and B, number two, you should let us know. I want to know. I'm just yeah. so curious. Anyway, let's move on. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. So I am currently on a med hold. I've passed kind of all the initial screening and, and I remember going into this, one of the last videos that we did was, I was curious whether they would accept me with my yeah. history of postpartum depression. Well, that's definitely not a showstopper. It might be with a, you know, a certain clinic or whatever, but currently yes. I am just kind of at a standstill waiting for my medication to kind of exit my system, all the like chemicals to- I mean, it's been a couple months. It's out of your system at this point, but I think they want to make sure that you're I don't know what stable the, enough without it. I don't know what the right, correct word is, right? I don't know. I thought it That's was- That's what I make, presumed. I, I thought it was just to make sure that all the medication is gone. Cause no one wants to start a pregnancy wondering if maybe I still have like remnants. I don't know. I just assumed that it was for you to make sure that that's A, out of your system, but also B, that you're okay. Does anyone know? Not on it or whatever. So yeah, drop a comment, let us know. Really, that's it. I'm just waiting until January to oh. start the process. So right now, what I'm kind of doing is building my surrogacy profile. What's the next step in January when we do this? I don't even know. Okay, so let me go back a little bit. So right now I'm building my profile so yep. intended parents can see who I am, like what we're about, just pictures of uh, me and, and my family. Yeah. And then next step after that, I believe, would be the psych screening, which is a three hour evaluation done for the both of us. We'll both be on um, probably a Zoom call or whatever. And we have to pass that in order to proceed to the next steps. So if we pass that, then we are in the matching stage. And basically at that point, we will be matched with potential intended parents. Okay. So yeah. So we, I have to go sit through a three hour thing to make sure I'm not crazy? Together. Basically oh. that we're mentally capable and stable enough to go through this process. Okay. All right. So sounds fun. Sounds exciting. Other but it sucks. Three hours it of sucks that though that stuff. I can't do anything until January. Like this is the the 
This is the hardest because I keep flip-flopping back and forth between whether I want to put my body through pregnancy and most mostly postpartum. Like I, it takes a while for you to get your body back. And I feel like I'm right at that point where I'm like comfortable in my own skin. And then I would just kind of erase all that. What recommendations do y'all have in regards to that? I don't know. How do you get your body back normally? You just wait. You just wait? Yeah, you can't just like, I mean, you can work out throughout pregnancy, but I was never really one to do that. Like, I, I'm worried about safety. There you go. Working out through pregnancy. That's it. We're doing it. Watch the intended parents be like, you have to sit still. Oh Lord, they can't control your body like that. This has been a long one and we're going to pause it, end it right here. I have no idea when the next one's going to be released because of everything else that's been going on in our lives. Well, all of the holidays and stuff coming up too. We oh yeah, and all of that, all of those birthdays, birthdays and everything that we just mentioned. Christmas. And you know, I never thought about it. It goes Thanksgiving, then your mom and brother's birthday, then yeah, like all a week the rest. Later. That's yeah, true. it's There's literally just a week, 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 boom, 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 boom. It's just crazy. So hopefully, we'll have some. Updates we might do some shorts if you are interested in that let us know if you just want short updates as part of like a YouTube short or Instagram reel or that type of stuff We can do that. I mean, they're like a minute quick update type things. So drop a comment. Let us know but thank you so much for watching And we'll see you in our next video